Hey Junior Scientist, Kim Kid here. Kim Kid here. Nah, nah, nah. Hey Science Explorers, Kim Kid here, back with another exciting episode. Last episode, we were heating things up with fire. This episode, we're going to be chilling with ice. This experiment is so messy, but so much fun. Have you ever seen a liquid that you can roll up into a solid ball? Well, that's what I'm about to show you. This is a non-Newtonian liquid, and if you apply pressure to it, it's like a solid. And then if you just gently push down, it's like a liquid all of a sudden. chilly weather going around, I thought it'd be cool to do some cold weather science experiments. How hard could that be? Well, harder than you think. But, as every good scientist knows, you can't have success without failure. Lots and lots of failure. But anyways, what my first experiment was, is that I tried to freeze a bubble. How hard could that be? Well, I failed. I tried to use bubble solution, failed. I tried to use our own solution, failed. And then we tried to chill the solution, also failed. But then my dad, he came up with the idea of chilling a jar. It sorta of worked, but it failed. But then finally, we, we chilled the solution 
and then we also chilled the jar. And then finally, it worked. Check it out. The solution just had to be cold enough and come in contact with an ice crystal on the jar to get an instant reaction. Once the first crystal formed on the bubble, it was really easy to spread across the bubble. So what if cold is not near? Do not fear. Let me show you how to freeze water instantly with just a tap of your finger. All you need for this science experiment is some purified water, a freezer, a bit of patience, and a steady hand. This one's kind of tricky, so don't give up. It's super cool. <laughs> Just like I showed with the frozen bubble, an ice crystal has to form before ice can spread. Purified water has no impurities for a crystal to latch onto, so the purified water can be super cooled, well below the freezing point without actually creating a crystal. The energy created by tapping on the bottle forces the super cooled water molecules to come together and form a crystal. Then it spreads fast. That's going to be all for today, science explorers. I'd like to say a special thanks to my parents for helping me out with some science experiments, and a special thanks to my buddy Carlos. But till next time, bye!